Hello everybody and welcome to episode number seven. I am the Utah Ranger. Just want to give a really quick shout out to Nerner Beastman Neo for the wonderful gift that I'm about to review today. These are the 1996 Beast Wars Transformers Optimus Primal and Megatron. This was something we had to wait a little bit for for these to arrive. Um, both of these figures were new in box. Completely unopened, original tape and everything. Uh, was a little bit painful to put the knife to the tape on these. Um, however, these were my favorite Transformers as a kid. I am a G1 head myself, but Beast Wars was my childhood era. I loved it very much. 1996, Hasbro, Kenner, these came out. And in all honesty, for the time, they were really, really nice figures. They turned a new leaf, I think, with Hasbro on the Transformers side when they decided to do the Beast Wars figures. And it was a, a pretty cool line. It wasn't a huge line um, like G1 and, and G2 was, but the actual articulation on the figures and the cool little individual features that each one of the figures had was, I think, a revolutionary situation for Hasbro and Kenner to actually release these. But the coolest part about these are the fact that they have not been transformed yet. We're gonna do that today. So, if you can see here, I do have the business card. He's another really cool, really good, good quality reviewer, Nerner Beast Man Neo. You can find him on Facebook, you can find him on Instagram, as well as on YouTube. And these were gifts from him. He's a really cool dude. Go, I would definitely recommend going to his channel, um, watch some of his videos, subscribe to him. And the first thing we're going to do is I'm actually going to show these instructions. These are the original instructions in the bag. Um, I'm not going to use the instructions because I had these figures as a kid and I feel like I'm proficient enough and remember enough about these to be able to effectively transform these bad boys without the use of these instructions. These these um, transformers are not super complicated. Um, they are a little bit weird if you've never transformed them before, but I feel like I'm familiar enough with these to do it. Now, um, a little bit of lore before we move on to the transformations. Optimus Primal on this side, Megatron on this side if you're not familiar. Now, these two are not actually Optimus Prime and Megatron that we know from G1. Um, Megatron actually got his name from taking on the ancestry from Megatron. He is the leader of the Predacons in this situation. Um, however, Optimus Primal um, took his name also from an ancestry kind of situation moving down the line, which is weird because it's kind of hard to tell in the, the whole time flow of things when Beast Wars takes place as opposed to G1, and it's kind of a lore mix-up situation. But um, you can actually go on and you can find some pretty good clarifications of what the time frame was like with Beast Wars and G1 and, you know, moving on to Transmetal. And, and uh, the, the lore is a little bit confusing, but he's not actually Optimus Prime. He's Optimus Primal, so these two are different Transformers. Um, I do believe Transmetal, they absorbed Optimus Primes and Megatron Sparks. I wasn't too into Transmetal after Beast Wars ended. That was kind of it for me um, moving forward. Um, I was eight years old when I got these originally. Um, I wish I would have had the original ones from then instead of having to, you know, acquire these through uh, Nerner Beastman Neo as a gift. But, there's a little bit of lore from these guys. Now moving forward, let's transform these guys. So, Optimus Primal, he comes with, he comes with some goodies. He's got some missiles. He comes with four missiles and two swords. Um, the other missiles and swords have been installed onto his person currently and Megatron he has two missiles 
and he's got this really cool feature that was I think kind of a groundbreaking situation for Megatron in particular. He has a water squirt gun tongue that you can fill up with water. You take the whole cartridge out of his neck and it pulls his entire tongue out which is pretty brutal. And as you can tell he's got the you fill this with water and then you squeeze his head back and it will shoot water out of the tongue. Um, the plastic has become extremely brittle on that so I'm not going to mess with that at all. So you pull his head back and he spits water which I thought was kinda goofy but also at the same time you know being eight years old it was actually really cool. You could load it up and spray it at your siblings and make them angry. I'll spit water at you. <laughs> um, this figure is pretty cool. He's got a lot of weird textures on him. Um, some cool coloring. I know that there has been two newer versions placed out that are considerably more show accurate but they're also crazy expensive. I mean, these ones brand new in box, I'm I'm assuming were not cheap. How about that close up? I'm ready for my close up, Mr. Spielberg. Come on, focus. Focus on his face. Yeah, so they're cool. I mean, I will eventually get the remakes that they did too, the more show accurate remakes because I do plan on collecting those as well. But, I mean, for 1996, these were really cool. They're not super show accurate, especially not the color scheme for Megatron in particular. Um, now, keep in mind, these are super, super fresh figures. Um, I just took these out of the box. So they are legitimately brand new. Brand spanking new figures. So there's Megatron's goofy tail, tail arm. And we're gonna put his little baby T-Rex arms backwards and out of the way. And we're gonna flip down his, his weird chest plate. And we're gonna pull Megatron's head out and each one of the Beast Wars figures um, If I remember correctly, they had these really cool weird kind of masks That came with them I do apologize if the camera angles are really funky um, So we're gonna pull these hip joints out move his His dinosaur wings back this way and we push his hips he has these weird little flat pieces on his hips here that actually will clip into place so these figures are really cool for their time I feel like they did a good job with these. There's Megatron's goofy head. Let's make sure that everything's going on correctly. So the one thing you don't want to do with older figures is force plastic into places because um, you really don't want to break anything. The plastic could potentially be brittle. I don't want to break anything. So I like these figures and I don't... See, he's already attacking the camera. Come on, Megatron, show some mercy, would you? Just a little bit. I don't need a lot of mercy from you, but I do ask a little. So, these are his dinosaur hip-mounted missiles. 
And then of course he's got the weird consistent dinosaur legs. And he's got one arm that's a tail pincer. And he's got one arm that is a dinosaur head. <laughs> so he's he's goofy. But Megatron's always been kind of a goofy character to begin with. He's never been um, a favorite of mine, Megatron. I'm definitely a, a hero person myself, a hero fan. Not a huge fan of the villains in almost any any series. But here's our boy, Optimus Primal. The giant Cybertronian partially um, partially, partially animal, partly metal, partly real, silver hawks, hit like if you remember that one. So we're going to give him the weird elephant toes, three toed elephant squad, <laughs> flip him around his legs and put down his hydraulically assisted robot feet. So we could leave him like this and he would look super goofy. Megatron, you'll never get away with hitting an animal. PETA will not be having that. Um, so then we're gonna flip out his head. We're gonna kind of unhook these pieces under his arms because those are his shoulder pads. Let's actually put his arms down. His arms have kind of a, a goofy feature that I wish that they could have done a little bit differently, but didn't. Alright, this is the first time that this head has been down and transformed. So I'm super stoked and also partially scared. But you flip his face around and that clips down into his chest there. And that's Optimus Primal's chest piece. And then I always wondered why he has the weirdest, scariest looking face mask over, over his normal face. He's, it's horrifying. Look at him. It's absolutely terrifying. I mean, it's cool. It's cool though. Optimus Primal's our boy. We don't we don't trash his appearance. I mean, yeah, he's a little little weird, but here is the good stuff here. This is the face that we all know and love. Didn't change much from G1. I'm Optimus Primal. Before time began, there was the Rubik's Cube. He's got all sorts of cool stuff. He's got flip out guns. And this is where his other missiles go. And I do apologize if the camera angles suck. Um, this is the first Transformer style review that I've ever done before. So I do apologize if the quality sucks or if the camera's not focusing right. Um, but I wanted to give you guys a, a Transformers review because I know we've got a lot of Transformers fans out there as well. I myself am a Transformers fan. And let's actually bust out the crazy mace out of his arm. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. So he's got some stowaway weapons. And we're gonna put his arm back together. And he will wield this on this hand. And then, there he is. You don't wanna mess with Optimus Primal. So if I remember pretty correctly, in the show, he was really strong, too. I mean, he got his butt kicked a bunch of times. 
but I mean pretty much everybody kind of got their butts kicked in every cartoon growing up Ninja Turtles Power Rangers well it wasn't a cartoon but they got their butts kicked a lot Transformers all of our heroes got their butts kicked or were killed multiple times He-Man he got his butt kicked yeah, Dragon Ball Z, we've seen Goku lose quite a few times. But this one is really cool too because he's got the butt button and wham. Shoulder mounted cannons. You can't say no to shoulder mounted cannons. I mean as if he wasn't heavily armed enough. And he's also got his swords right there, the stowaway curved blade swords which I thought as a kid were super cool you can actually get these on one of the Transformers games I believe it's Transformers Devastation and they just have a plethora of different weapons that you can you can choose from and those swords in particular are actually on that game but here are Optimus Primal and Megatron fully transformed Prime. Uh, my name is Primal. Oh, my mistake. My mistake, Primal. But I like him a lot, and I'm super, super grateful to Nerner Beastman Neo. He is the bomb for getting me these. Uh, it's totally unwarranted. He just decided to gift me with them one day, and you know, the rest is history. So that's them transformed. You know, they've got their hidden weapons and stuff, and um, Megatron's got his Batman mask. That's what it looks like to me as a bat. And I'm not sure what Optimus Primal's is. It kind of looks like um, an insect or something. But this Optimus Primal was my favorite figure as a kid. I took him everywhere with me. And I can't remember how many times I shot the missiles at my siblings and lost them and then found them later. And eventually, I think my original figure had one missile left. I never lost the mace, however. The mace was always... Always apart. Because I never really took it out of his arm. So I always had him use his swords. And I think I had both swords as well. Um, who knows what happened to the actual figure itself. Hopefully whoever has it is enjoying it, has it displayed, or maybe if a kid owns it, they, they're they playing with it. Um, but Megatron has this weird pincer movement, action pincer. And Optimus has a lever on his back that allows his arms to do a strange, strange motions. Um, so in this case, he has these little clips that are on the side of his arms. And they have to be locked into place in order for his arms to be able to do the actions that are available for him. Um, one of the actions that he has is he can spin his arms. And the other one is... He uh, moves his arms up and down, outwards. So, oh, oh, my arm! So this is uh, one of his, his actions. <laughs> he, uh, he can spin his arm around, or if you have him locked in the, in the downwards position, I believe he moves his arms outwards um, in tandem of one another, I do believe. Well, it's actually bring his arms kind of up and down like that. Do the monkey with me. Hoo ha! Who remembers Johnny Bravo? Leave a like if you remember Johnny Bravo. Well, thankfully, um, I didn't break anything. Knock on wood there. I didn't break anything doing this. Um, I don't really regret cutting the tape on these because um, I believe that figures are meant to be enjoyed. Now if you are a figure collector that would rather leave them in the box, you know, more power to you. I'm all for it. 
whatever type of collector you are. Um, I, in particular, have some pieces that are still in the box. They may or may not ever come out. Um, I do like to do displays, so I probably will do some displays in the future. I really hope you guys liked this review, and I do apologize about not getting one out last week, but we had to wait for these figures to come in because I wanted to do both of them at the same time. But, that being said, I think we'll go ahead and end the review. It's been a 20 minute, 20 minute video. I appreciate you guys. If you made it all the way to the end, you guys are the real champions here. Leave a like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you thought. Um, let me know your thoughts about Beast Wars. Would you guys like to see him do a Beast Wars remake with some better animation and some graphics? Do you guys want to see a review of the new Beast Wars Megatron and Optimus Primal? Because I can do those. Just got to acquire those bad boys first, but I do plan on buying them and doing a full review. Let me know if you guys want to see more Transformers in the future, because uh, I definitely want to do some more. Um, I've got quite an extensive collection of all sorts of different things. Um, let me know what you guys want to see. I appreciate you guys. Remember, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, The Utah Ranger. If you're curious, we've got the Utah Ranger official fan page on Facebook. If you guys want to go and participate in polls, discuss, leave photos and videos of your collection, you're more than welcome to do so. I appreciate you guys hanging around with me. I will see you guys in episode number eight. May the power protect you.